Last episode, we were in Guadalajara, where we got our bike serviced. We then headed west through lots of agave fields. We learned how tequila is made in the actual town called Tequila. We start off this episode just west of there on our way to a town called Compostela in the state of Nayarit. This is some beautiful countryside here. The sun's right in the camera, but in a minute it'll turn and you can see this is a awesome little road for motorcycles. Got some twisties, agave, look at the mountainside landscaping. Look at the countryside here. We are hitting another little small town. I think it's called Magdalena. Magdalena. I don't think we've crossed over yet into the next state, Nayarit, but we will, I believe, soon. We'll be moving over from Jalisco to Nayarit. Let's see what we got here. Ah. <sighs> We got sushi. I think that's sushi. Sushi. Restaurant sushi. So we just did a quick ride through that town. Now I guess Magdalena, Magdalena is known for having several rock mines in the area because they mine obsidian and fire opals. The region sits on an old volcanic belt, so they have a lot of mines and rock stores in the town with precious stones. So This is a part of the uh, road we saw on the map that was pretty crazy with curves. So we were uh, looking out for it. Oh yeah, we're going down this mountainside right now. Kids playing on the farm, got some goats. Go straight away here. Ah yeah, I wish the sun wasn't in your face for the camera, because I'm sure it's not showing up that well. I'll try to look that way a little bit. You can get a visual of what's going on. But yeah, pretty much uh, nobody behind me at all. Just cruising at about 60 kilometers an hour. It is 5.30, which could be, in fact be 4.30. Because I think we probably crossed the line over into Nayarit. So, little talk for the day. I've been doing some research about this area and Jalisco, where we are right now, is the fourth most populated state in Mexico. And by the way, do you know how many states there are in Mexico? It's 32. 
and the largest city in Jalisco is Guadalajara where we were this morning that's the third largest metropolitan area behind Mexico City which is number one and Monterey which is number two and Jalisco is known for all kinds of cultural significant things of Mexico uh, it's where mariachi music started ranchera music and tequila obviously the area where we drove through actually the kind of cultural significance is so important here in Jalisco that the state motto is Jalisco is Mexico the state is also home to two main indigenous populations the Huachau I want to say Huachau people and also the Nahuas I'll spell it on the screen because I don't really know how to pronounce it also interesting for you guys in the US uh, watching there's a lot of expats who choose Jalisco uh, to move to, especially in Lake Chapala and also obviously Puerto Vallarta, which a lot of people know is a nice vacation spot, but it's also where a lot of expats go to live. But overall, Jalisco is a really great place to visit. Um, you can fly into Guadalajara and you can really explore some nice city stuff, but then you can you know, rent a car or whatever and you can get to the beach within a couple of hours and explore places like Puerto Vallarta, other coastal areas, which is actually known as the Mexican Riviera along the coast. Really beautiful, the coastal towns. So there you have it, some, some tidbits about Jalisco. This is one of those uh, full 180 degree turns that we saw on the map. Oh yeah, major. Fun though to ride on. Anybody who has a motorcycle knows that uh, it's a lot of fun to drive on curves like this as long as you keep your speed down. And whoops, that's what you don't want to hit. You can go at a slow speed at your own pace. No pressure to keep up with some crazy pack. I, I, I was reading also one of the biggest mistakes that uh, new riders make is they will, you know, go on these group rides with uh, five or ten people on their fast bikes and they'll feel pressure to keep up even though they don't have the skill level. How you doing? Um, and that's where they can get into trouble. So that's why Juan and I have agreed, you know, it's there's nothing, there's no such thing as too slow when it comes to just keeping safe. Uh, and we discussed the curves, discussed our route. Look here, you know, pointing out things on the map. Look at these curves. Be aware, be super slow, be super cautious, do not drift into the other lane, that kind of thing. Look at that right there. See, you get, if you're going too fast, you drift over, next thing you know, you're head on with a semi truck. Ah, uh, booyah, that semi-truck's coming over in our lane, in fact. So, not only do you want to go slow, I would recommend hugging the outside, because you don't know what the other guy's trying to do. I had to bust it down to third gear to get over this hill here. Um, but on your outside there, that's where you're also going to find some gravel. So, you got to find your happy spot. Not too close to that white line. Where there's going to be gravel. Um, see that gravel right there? You don't want to hit that in a curve either. So multiple. There's a lot uh, of risk involved with curves like this. But look at the, look at these. Look at the cacti. Oh wow! Look at that one right right ahead of me. That is crazy. indigenous town there's a lot of these indigenous communities Entering Nayarit, entering Nayarit right there. New state, new time zone, and I think we're closing in on our next town. Looks like I'm about out of battery, but we're coming in on a town. 
another amazing town where we've got it, uh, the mountains all around us, and then this bowl shaped uh, bottom is the town getting dark on us. I actually need to take off my sunglasses, I can't hardly see. I guess some kind of a church or shrine or something up here. Oh shoot, didn't see that one coming. Oh, it's just some big, uh, it's like a church, but with a big uh, tarp on it or whatever. Banner, I should say, painted on. Oh, that was a good ride, huh? That was crazy. Nice. This town, this town is actually quite cool. We just did a quick drive-through um, of the main plaza, main center. Ixlan del Rio, it's called. So, pretty cool. Hmm. All right, uh, just leaving. And the next, um, well, we're, I got an Airbnb at Compostela, and we would have been here in plenty of time, but for the um, Italica Service Center. Anyway, I probably won't get a lot more footage. So yeah, my GoPro camera died uh, before we got into town, but we did make it to Compostela, and we're ending the night like usual, getting some tacos. Woke up this morning to a bunch of roosters crowing at about 5 a.m. And we're in this cool uh, Airbnb that overlooks the city. Uh, I'll give you a visual of what it looks like. It's, it's pretty cool. You can actually hear the roosters out there. This adventure has been quite amazing and I kind of feel like I haven't been able to capture it all on, 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 on video um, for you all just because most for the most part I just have my helmet camera when I'm writing um, and I've noticed sometimes that the footage is not is not great so I've tried to adjust that I'll show you a couple things I've been doing um, my helmet yeah for fun I just did a little art uh, art project on my helmet kind of cool got to do this side next but anyway I, my point was that I, earlier I was trying to say that I, while I don't feel that I'm really getting you know like award winning award winning documentary with the cinematography and everything and you're mostly just seeing the route along the highway I'm hoping to change that a bit so here in Compostela I'm gonna go to some local shops and try to interview some folks uh, but my goal really is to hopefully even if it's not you know, I'm still figuring out sort of the storytelling, but even if it's not great, I'm hoping at least it gives you some inspiration, you know, to do something that you've been putting off or that you haven't taken action to do, whether it's a travel adventure like this or a new hobby or making contact with an old friend or whatever, uh, just taking the action necessary to make it happen is hope, that, that's what I'm hoping to inspire you to do. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm really excited to show you the next leg of this where we're going to actually hit the coast of Nayarit. We're going to hit the town of San Blas next uh, after we explore a bit of Compostela. So we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.